is the riskiest position you put yourself in? This. <laughs> right here. Well, what's the risk of doing that? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't. I'm, you, I, you recognize that I'm not uh, especially comfortable with it. I don't feel. I, you know, the risk is that... Uh, that you'll you'll be asked things that you don't want to deal with. You mean personal? Yeah. I don't uh, I don't like doing personal publicity because I uh, I am by nature a private person and also I don't think it has any practical value. I think you become either you become an object of fashion, which then is replaced by another object of fashion. You're in and out of fashion. If you are, if you're a celebrity, that's what happens to you. Why not let people know who Harrison Ford is? I mean, I think of polls that were done a couple of years ago. I think people did a poll, and and nobody, very few people knew who you were, despite the fact that you've been in the business twenty years. And directors who've been asked to list the ten top dramatic actors very often don't put your name down. Are you trying to make me feel good? <laughs> No, I'm, I'm saying those are facts that you know. You know, maybe the fact that you've stayed away from all that kind of publicity has hurt you. Is that possible? Do I look hurt? <laughs> no, I'm perfectly satisfied with the way things have gone. And some people have compared you to um, some of the stars uh, like Humphrey Bogart. Do you see any of that? You no. don't see it at all? They've compared me to everybody but Dorothy Lamour. Well, you're used to playing heroes. No, I'm not used to playing heroes. I'm used to playing characters, and if they happen to to behave heroically, you can't play a hero. A hero is a guy with a cape, you know. Uh, but but what's interesting is to see a person that's ordinary behave in a, in in, uh, in heroic way. Well, when I think of somebody like um, Han Solo or even Indiana Jones, if you ask the average person what those characters are, I think they'd say they were heroes. Yeah, but those are only two characters, Han Solo and right. Indiana Jones. Out of a range of, what, 14 or 15 that I've played. So uh, I don't feel that I'm, that I'm stuck in a position of playing heroes. <laughs> the image of you on the screen, I think, that a lot of people have is that you play tough guys, really tough guys who actually have very soft hearts. Well, if, if that's the image, I mean, uh, sure, I, uh, fair enough to say that that's the image that I have. But I also want to uh, go out of my way not to do the same thing over and over again. So, I mean, I have some, some stake in believing that I've been successful in that. Why then do you think the public has the impression that you keep playing very similar characters? Do you want me to give the money back? I mean, what are you? No, no. You're saying I'm, that I failed in my job. No, what, I'm not. what would you suggest that I do? Give the money back? <laughs> I'm not saying you failed in your job. I'm saying maybe the characters are similar. I played a lot of different kinds of characters. The fact that uh, that I'm not as well known for the ones that are less successful commercially doesn't surprise me. I shouldn't think that it should surprise you. What didn't you like about Ali Fox, your performance? <laughs> What? No, I mean, you know, it's just not, uh, it's just not done to criticize your own work that way, is it? I mean, I'm not about to do it. When it's a flop, Harrison, do you blame yourself? I hope is is predominantly for its artistic success, not its commercial success. I, I, I mean that sincerely. I mean, I'm insulated enough by the, by the, films that I have done that are successful. Uh, not to really care that much about that. I know you don't want to talk about your personal life, and I haven't asked you anything, but... Everything you've asked me has been That's personal. not true. <laughs> I, I, I want, everybody want. I mean, people like you, Harrison. People want to know something about you. Well, we'll put an end to that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read a quote from you. It says, I'm probably impossible for me to live with. I get along much better with other people than I do with myself. I do not consider myself fun at a party. I don't know what you mean. I, uh, I meant to indicate that I'm, uh, that I am in conflict with myself on a regular basis, that I uh, have long talks with myself about, uh, 
what I'm doing and how I'm reacting. And I think that's uh, common to most uh, people, isn't it? Well, yeah, you're not talking out loud when you're having these talks. No, 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 not in the back of buses sort of talking <laughs> well, to myself. Well, then I think or, it's probably common. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. So like, oh, you don't what? actually carry shopping bags. I think it's all right. <laughs> What's the conflict that's going on in your head all the time? Well, I don't know that it's anybody's business. That's why I don't talk out loud about it. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Leave me a little privacy here. <laughs> How about one thing? One personal thing that people will leave the interview and they'll go, isn't that nice that I learned that? One thing. Ask me a question. One free question. One free question that you'll answer? A specific question I'll give you an answer. Shoot. See? Oh, no, the pressure is really now, well, now let's give oh as God. much dead time for you. And I'll just look at you like I'm an interviewer. <laughs> Um, <laughs> now you say that you're not like any of your characters on the one hand yet there's a part of you in each one of them if I look at those characters which parts of them can I pull out that reflect you American graffiti I think uh, you know there's a bit of smart ass in me and I think that that's the smart ass Star Wars Han Solo is uh, is a cynical uh, cynical kind of guy with a heart uh, of gold, if you will. There's a little of that in me. My character in Hanover Street, I played a real romantic. And I, there's a touch of that in me. The Frisco Kid was uh, basically a person that couldn't, uh, couldn't turn somebody down. He's a guy who just wasn't too smart, but uh, was generous uh, of heart. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Is that sort of like you? Not too smart, but generous of heart? Well, then you said it. No, man, I'm just taking notes here. Uh, let's just stick with the generous of heart part. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, one thing that I think that was, that was most uh, prominent in the character of Indiana Jones was his tenaciousness, his unwillingness to give up, and I am tenacious. Witness, uh, he's again a sentimental person who wants uh, very much to be a part of life, a part of a community. But he's an outsider, uh, a loner, as cops often feel themselves. And uh, that are brings you, are us... Are you part loner? Yep, are you saying that? yep. Uh, and then uh, the last one is uh, Mosquito Coast. <laughs> he's so fraught with contradiction that his mental balance is uh, questionable. So I'll take a little tiny touch of... Uh, of uh, not mental unbalance, but uh, um, there's sort of a, a, a constant gnashing of the psychological gears. Well, I would say if you take away the part where he goes crazy, you certainly appear to be a man of contradiction. I, I can live with that. <laughs>